over there. Okay. He's like, okay, Leroy. And Mr. Roy just ran with it. He, he Every time he sees him, what's good, Leroy? Yeah. He just called me Leroy 24-7. So that's where that name came from. You mentioned Dylan. Um, right. What, have you, what stands out about him and that improvement and heading into year two? Uh, I think just overall his, his body, um, his mindset, everything has changed. Um, he's getting bigger. He's getting faster. Uh, he's getting stronger. So um, he's going to be a key piece, obviously, because we don't have that many edge guys. Uh, you know, we got the transfer in, and uh, he's looking really good, um, Marcus. So, um, but I mean, overall, I mean, we're good. I mean, we're good to go. We're moving in the right direction, and uh, Dylan's doing a really good job. As, as one of those guys, what do you tell him? Do you tell him, hey, you got to be prepared, you got to be ready? As far as with Dylan? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I tell him every day. I'm like, bro, like, you can be as good as you want to be. Don't hold yourself back from the things you can accomplish because you don't feel like you're ready or you're too young. Like, you're never too young. I started four games my freshman year, I played 11 out of 13. So, I mean, the, the, the excuse of being too young and not being prepared to be too small, I mean, that's not the case because I played at 220. Uh, I was small. And um, so just trying to show him the ropes and push him to his success um, is the biggest thing, I think, because – and he, he's starting to see, like I said, it's coming to fruition. Like, his mindset has changed. Everything has changed about the way he operates. So I think he's really starting to pick up on that. When it comes to – You were never – you were never small. <laughs> I was. I came in at 220. I, I, I played at 237 my freshman year. You see that, but I came in at 220. I was small. When it comes to NIL, is that something you guys players talk about, or is it more just football first, NIL later? Nah, we. I mean, I, I got asked this question in the other room. I mean, NIL is good for college football, but it doesn't bring any division in our locker room. We really don't discuss it. We don't discuss how much this guy makes, how much that guy makes. Uh, we just go to work every day, and it's always football first. I mean, we all come here to work. We all come here to win the championship. So that's what our mindset is, and that's the goal we push towards every day. Can you talk about the atmosphere at Jordan Heron, what it's like playing five straight home games to open up the season? Special. I mean, you you have to be there experience. Um, it's, it's, it's one of a kind. You don't get this everywhere. I mean, screaming, everybody's loud, everybody doing swag search, we get into the fourth quarter. I mean, it's just one of a kind experience that you really don't see in many places. So, I mean, you have to be there to witness it. But in terms of Harry, the hardest atmosphere to play in the college football. And obviously, you heard that from a lot of guys here this week. Um, about how tough it is to play in Jordan Harris. So, I mean, I'm blessed to have the opportunity to play in there for five games in a row. If you want a row, then you come right back home. So, uh, I mean, I love it. How important is that for this season that you guys get a chance to potentially get off to a hot start like that? Right, it's huge. Um, you know, playing on the road and getting that win is it's always good because in this league, everybody's good at home. So going on the road and winning the game is huge, but having that home advantage in Jordan Harris, I mean, it's second to none, it's like none other. So um, just being able to have the opportunity to get off to a 5-0 and start, um, it's, it's, it's huge for us as a team, and it, it helps us push in the right direction for our goals this season. So, uh, you know, having an opportunity is going to be really good for us. You mentioned.